Hello everyone, welcome to my messy studio. My name is Mark, and in this video, I'm going to show you a quick and effective way to get realistic skin tones when sketching in pen and watercolor, and also announce my new series of upcoming online workshops. Let's get started. Here is a little pen drawing that is ready for the watercolor stage. I'm using cold press watercolor paper here, made by Bockingfort, with the inkwork done with Noodler's Black. This technique can work on any paper, however, and I often use it in my multimedia sketchbooks. The first step is to render the entire head in a single color, ultramarine blue. You can also use cobalt blue for this purpose, but it's a less transparent color that will have a greater tendency to obscure the line work. I would not use Prussian or Thalo blue, however, for this purpose, since they lean towards green and will not mix well with the colors I place on top. Start with your lighter values with a thin wash of blue, doing your best to retain the highlights. Then mix up a darker wash and put in your shadows. Keep in mind that when combining watercolor with pen, you don't want your washes to go too dark, or they're going to obscure your line work. So keep even the darkest shadows light and vibrant, which will result in a nice interplay between dark, crisp lines and soft washes. The amount of detail you put in this stage is up to you, but for faster work, I usually indicate darker values in the shadows and halftones in the lights to make the forms more three-dimensional looking. I should note that part of the color looks a little patchy towards the bottom of the face because the paper I'm using is probably over two decades old and has lost some of its sizing. No matter, because things will even out once the paper has dried. Before I show you the next step, allow me a brief moment to tell you about my upcoming workshop titled Sketching People in Pen and Watercolor. Drawing people from observation is a very challenging thing to do. And as hard as it is in the studio, where people are posing for you, it's even harder in the wild, where people move, the light is less than ideal, and you have limited time to work. This fast-paced, information-dense, three-hour online class will teach you simple, effective strategies that will help you overcome such difficulties, allowing you to draw figures in pen and ink and watercolor that are more accurate and expressive. I'm going to make several dates available towards the end of May and running into the first part of June. And if you can't make those dates, don't worry, I'm going to run these workshops again in the fall. Please see my website for more information. Okay, back to the regularly scheduled program. Once the blue monochrome layer is fully dry, I mix up a wash of yellow ochre and alizarin crimson and go over it. This warm saturated orange color, when laid over a blue underpainting, softens and creates a very convincing skin tone. Once it's dry, I can make a few adjustments, adding touches of red or yellow in areas to create additional color complexity. While you could, of course, mix your colors directly, this indirect layer technique has a number of advantages. The first is that it separates the problem of value and color. Drawing is hard enough when working in monochrome, but when you add the additional complexity of having to simultaneously deal with color, it can be overwhelming. This process separates the problem of value and color, allowing you to focus on each one separately and to do each step better. The benefits of separating these two steps was well understood by the old masters, which is why many paintings done prior to the middle of the 19th century were done in a similar indirect way. The second advantage of this technique is that the color of skin is very complex, with light passing through many semi-transparent layers, creating subtle alternations of warm and cool tones. In this method, the blue bottom layer filtering through the warm top layer mimics the complex color variations we see in skin tones in ways that are impossible to achieve by mixing the color directly. And the third advantage, while this is a fast skin tone formula requiring only three colors, it can be used as a starting point to achieve a wide variety of finishes, from quick sketches to fully rendered paintings. I hope you enjoyed this mini lesson, and if you did, please subscribe and of course, consider taking one of my upcoming workshops. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you back in my messy studio very soon. Bye-bye.